project is ready on nutrition in animals. Now let's have a look. So this is the cover page of our project wherein I have written the five important steps in nutrition that is ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection. Here you can paste the textbook picture on the cover page. So going to page number one that is going to be our index. So page number two contains the definition of animal nutrition that is it is the process of taking in food by an animal and its utilization in the body. All organisms including humans require food for growth, repair and functioning of the body. Animals get their food from plants either directly by eating plants or indirectly by eating animals that eat plants. So now over here I have made this chart that is according to the food animals eat they are divided into herbivores that is animals that eat plants like cows, deer, elephant, carnivores are the animals that eat other animals that is lion, tiger and snake and omnivores are the animals that eat plants as well as other animals like humans, turtle and bear. So this was page number two. Now let's go to page number three wherein I have made a flow chart of uh, the important steps in nutrition. So nutrition is a complex process and involves five important steps. Number one is ingestion, process of taking in food, then digestion, breaking down of food into simple soluble substances. Absorption is the process in which digested food enters the blood. Assimilation is a process in which food carried by blood is utilized by the body and ejection is removal of undigested food. Animal nutrition involves nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food and utilization of food in the body. So this was page number 3. Now coming to page number 4 that is nutrient requirement it is of carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals and water then mode of intake of food the mode of taking food into the body varies in different organisms like bees and hummingbirds suck the nectar infants of humans and other many animals feed on the mother's milk snakes swallow the animals they prey upon then snail does the scraping Cats and dogs lapping, some aquatic animals filter tiny food particles floating nearby. Then the third point is utilization of food. To be able to utilize the food, the complex components of food should be broken down into simpler substances and this is called as digestion. Going to page number 5, we will see digestion in humans. We take in food through the mouth, digest and utilize it. The food passes through a continuous canal called as elementary canal. It begins at buccal cavity and ends at the anus. The canal can be divided into buccal cavity. Food is taken into the body through the mouth. This process is called as ingestion. Now here I have pasted the picture of the digestive system. I have taken the same colors like buccal cavity here I have taken blue and I have written over here with the blue pen. So buccal cavity here teeth break down food mechanically into small pieces. So cutting and biting is done by incisors, piercing and tearing by canines, chewing and grinding is done by the molars. Then the food pipe or the esophagus this I have taken the green color. The swallowed food passes through the food pipe which runs along the neck and chest and opens into the stomach. Now over here I have shown in the green color paper. So esophagus transports food. Food is pushed down by the movement of the wall of food pipe. This movement is called as peristalsis. It takes place throughout the elementary canal. Number three is the stomach. It is thick walled flattened J shaped back. It is the widest part of the elementary canal. I have used the pink color over here and the same pink color paper I have used on the diagram. 
though so the stomach stores and churns food limited absorption takes place here the inner lining secretes mucus which protects the lining of the stomach HCl or hydrochloric acid which breaks up food and kills the bacteria that enters with the food then digestive juices breaks down the proteins the fourth part is the small intestine i am writing with the yellow pen that is it is highly coiled 7.5 meters long tube so and the same yellow color paper i have uh, used for this diagram all components of food digested in lower part of the small intestine so carbohydrates are broken down to glucose fats into fatty acids and glycerol proteins into amino acids now this digested food pass into blood vessels through villi in the wall of small intestine and this is nothing but the absorption now these absorbed substances transported to different organs where they are used to build complex substances and this is called as assimilation then the fifth part of the elementary canal is the large intestine i have used the orange color pen so it is 1.5 meters long tube it is wider and shorter than the small intestine and here also i have used the orange color paper so here uh, undigested unabsorbed food enters here absorbs it absorbs water and salts the waste remains in the rectum as semi solid feces and is removed through the anus from time to time and this process is called as ejection now the digestive juices are secreted by inner walls of stomach and small intestine salivary glands pancreas and liver also secrete the digestive juices so here i have written about the salivary glands which secrete saliva these are the salivary glands over here which breaks down the starch into sugars then the bile juice stored in the gall bladder plays an important role in digestion of the fat then the pancreatic juice it acts on the carbohydrates fats and proteins and changes them into simpler forms so in this way digestive tract plus associated glands forms the digestive system now this was about page number 5 and 6 now let's see page number 7 so here i have taken digestion in grass eating animals so grass contains cellulose a tough carbohydrate grass eating animals like cow buffaloes goats deer etc quickly swallow the grass this is stored in rumen a part of the stomach here food gets partially digested and it is called as curd this curd later returns to mouth in small lumps and the animal chews it again this process is called rumination and the animals are called as ruminants the bacteria present in rumen helps in digestion of cellulose many animals including humans cannot digest this cellulose then on page number 8 i have taken feeding and digestion in amoeba so amoeba is a microscopic single celled organism it is found in the pond water its cytoplasm has a round dense nucleus and many small bubble like vacuoles it has a cell membrane pseudopodia or false feet are one or more finger like projections which it pushes out for movement and capture of food So here I have uh, taken the diagram of the amoeba and make a booklet showing how it captures its food, digests it, and ingests it. So number one, amoeba senses the food. Then the next is pseudopodia surround the food. Next point is food is enclosed in a food vacuole. Now digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuole. Food is digested, absorbed, and assimilated. That is, it is used for the growth, for maintenance, and multiplication of amoeba. And the fifth point is undigested food is expelled out. And last point is amoeba can constantly change its shape and position. Then the last page, that is page number nine. i have taken some facts like uh, fact number 1 here small intestine is 7.5 meters long then peristalsis is 
wave like uh, motion of muscles in alimentary uh, tract which moves the food forwards fact number 3 during vomiting food moves in opposite direction due to increase pressure in the stomach humans do not have enzymes needed to break down cellulose grass eating animals cannot chew their food properly at the time they take it in due to the presence of cellulose so this was the project about nutrition in animals do let me know in the comment box about the video if you like the video do give a thumbs up to share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos till then this is amrapali signing out happy learning nutrition in animals and happy growing up with your loved ones